Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Dr. Munda. Today, inshallah, we'll demonstrate the uh, RSA algorithm, which is one of the public key encryption algorithm. This is some history about the uh, RSA algorithm. Uh, it is uh, was developed in 1977 and um, the first published in 1978 and uh, it is a very good algorithm and still in use. Uh, so RSA use make, uh, uh, make use of an expression with exponential uh, where the plain text is actually in a block as a block cipher because it's a block cipher. Now each block will have a binary value less than some numbers let's say like n and the block size must be less than or equal to what the log n plus 10. So it's very simple um, condition that if you have a block size is uh, the block size have some variable uh, value uh, binary value uh, less than uh, like a n then you will have a condition that the size of the block must be what must be less than or equal to what to log uh, n plus 1 and that's the condition n so for example if you have um, you know, the block size is i bits then uh, must be n okay it must be uh, more than 2 or so i and less than or equal to also i plus 1 if you want to put it in another way so what happened here you calculate the cipher text the cipher text is c this is the cipher text and this is the message we denote it as a message this is the message as an m and then you say the cyber text equal m usul e e is actually a prime number which is a prime number a prime number and the mod ln where n is the number of bits if you want to do the decryption this is called the encryption this is the encryption if you want to do the decryption okay the decryption happened to get the message back we have to take c uh, which is the cipher text that we already did that uh, to the power d d also is a prime number mod ln and if you want to make them equal each other you can do the calculation and at the end it will be uh, c uh, to m will be equal to m e d so at the end m will be equal to what M was E D mod L N. Uh, let's go back to the uh, calculation. Um, so we need to have two prime number. One is called P, and the other one is called Q. When we say prime number, we mean that there's some specification for the prime number. We'll, we'll define it right now. So we need to have two prime number. Okay, and uh, then we calculate N. This is how we calculate actually. N. N we calculate by multiplying P and Q and then we calculate uh, fill N which is actually equal P minus 1 multiplied by Q minus 1 and then we choose E. E also must be a prime number and E should meet these two conditions and we use the GCD. Uh, we use another way to find that. Um, we calculate D and then D um, it, it should satisfy this equation and then we will have if we calculate this then the public key will be E and N and the private key will be D and N as well okay and we say uh, the plain text M should be less than N where the cipher text is equal M usul E model N and the decryption algorithm the cipher text is called C where uh, m is equal c to the power d and uh, mod ln. So let's take a real example and see how it works. So let's say that if you have uh, p is equal 17 and q is equal to 11. These are two prime numbers. Uh, then we calculate n. n equal q multiplied by p which is equal 11 multiplied by 17 you need to have a calculator to do that uh, then it's equal 187 you calculated n all right and uh, now we calculate fill n so fill n is equal to what is equal p minus 1 multiplied by q minus 1 
and that will equal to what that will be equal to 17 minus 1 multiplied by 11 minus 1 and that will come up to what that will come up to 16 multiplied by 10 and the result will be 160 so this is the file end. this is what this is five fill end. now we have to choose a number e so if we choose e is equal to for example as we choose here uh, let's say that e equals 7 e also must be a prime number okay e must be a prime number now for the encryption how we do the encryption the encryption takes equal m to the power e mod ln okay so the cipher text will be equal let's say m for example is equal to 88 we want to send the number let's use numbers so 88 to the power e e is equal to 7 and that mod what model n n is equal to what 187 so 187 and then you can use the calculator to do that so use the calculator to show you the calculation actually so what do we do we take uh, the number and we say okay we have 88 and 88 to the power here we click here to the power um, 7 which is e and that equal to what to this big number don't worry about the big number and you take mod in n so we take mod n is 187 187 and that equal to what that equal to 11 so this one c is equal to what is equal to 11 so the encryption is 11 and you can see that the encryption is having to be an 11 now the decryption we have to find uh, we already know p we have to know the p which is equal 17 we know the q which is equal 11 and this is easy we already know the calculation of n which is equal 187 this is encryption this is encryption okay for decryption we know that n equal 187 and uh, fill n is equal to 160 okay we know that e is equal to 7 we don't need to know e that's not important for us okay now the only thing that we need to calculate is d how much d that we need to calculate now d when you calculate the d you can calculate it according to this equation i'll give you a better one uh, to know the d and d should be less than n okay so here the d is 23 so if you say d is equal 23 as it's calculated i'll show you how it's calculated later on and uh, then you do the decryption in the same way so the decryption you can say that m is equal c to the power d okay mod l n and then that equal to c is 11 to the power 23 which is d mod n n is what n is 1 8 7 that we can use the calculator to do that uh, make our life simple thank you for inventing this calculator and we can say that okay let's take the 11 to the power at 23 that equal a very big number and that's all mod what that's mod 187 should give us what it should give us 88 now this is give us 88 and then the value of d is accurate you can see the calculation is very simple but it's a very complex algorithm all right uh, this diagram shows that if you have the plain text is 88 now the public key is actually e and n this is the public key is e and n and then you try to encrypt it using this equation which is equal basically to m model e uh, multiplied uh, mod ln 
this is the equation that we use and the output of the cipher is equal to what is equal this is the cipher text is the output now uh, the encryption uh, the decryption is happening using the private key the private key is actually a combination of d and n the only missing is d that we have to find that so it happened by using what it's a, the m message is equal the cipher key to the power d mod ln which is this equation and it should give us the same message that we encrypted very simple and effective and strong algorithm as a public key algorithm uh, this is another example let's solve it together and see how we calculate the d so for example here i have p is equal to three and q is equal to 11 okay now these two is already known i can calculate n n is equal q multiplied by p which is equal to what uh, 11 by 3 which is equal to 33 this is very simple and easy fill n is equal q minus 1 multiplied by p minus 1 and that's equal to 10 uh, multiplied by 2 and that's equal to 20 so we know fill n we know n now we have p and q we choose e let us choose the same number now e has to be a prime number i have put this table for you that shows all the prime number from 1 to 100 so here we choose um, e as a seven seven is a prime number you can choose five you can choose three that's up to you so let's say e equal seven so we have everything okay let's do the encryption let's do the encryption here how we do the encryption very simple and easy so we say cipher text is equal to what is equal to the message to the power e mod n so let's say the message that i want to send for example is what the message is equal to two i'm gonna write it here let's say the message is equal to what is the cipher text all right so i'm gonna say c is equal to two to the power e e is seven and that mod what model n n is actually 33 the result will be what let's calculate it using the calculator um, so we're gonna say okay 2 to the power 7 is equal to this number mod a 33 and that give us what 20 29 so the cipher text is equal to what to 29 this is the encryption okay let's go for the decryption right let's go for the decryption if you receive the message how do you decrypt it okay decryption algo how do we decrypt it we already know the p we already know the q we already know the n we know the phi uh, we don't know the e so in the decryption you're supposed to know p is equal 3 q is equal 11 you can calculate n which is equal 33 you can calculate q file n which is equal 20 okay and uh, you don't have to know e because e is somehow secret so we need to find out what is the message is equal to what what is the message that we need to find out we already know the cipher text is equal to 29 so how I calculate? Let's calculate it according to the equation. The equation say that the message is equal to the cipher text to the power d my mod n, and that's equal to what? That's equal to 29 to the power d. We don't know d right now. Mod what? Mod l n is 33. How do you find D? D, I'll give you an equation that 
make it easy for you to find d i can find d according to this equation d is equal one plus k multiplied by phi n and divided by what divided by e if you want to find the uh, d okay so how do you find d all right d is very simple now e is a public key as we said so you have to share it uh, the d is a private key so how do you calculate it let's say k what's the value of k now k to k is taking a value uh, from 1 to e cannot be less than 1 it cannot be more than e so let's say k is equal 1 what's the value of d okay you calculated the equation 1 plus 1 multiplied by file n is equal to what is equal to 20 divided by e which equal to 7 and that give us what that give us uh, 21 divided by 7 and that will give us what that will give us the d here is what is equal to 3 now the result should be what should be prime number and no fraction there's two condition here no fraction no decimal and it should be what it should be a prime number if you get three from here then you look at the table it's a prime number and there's no decimal so d is equal to three then i can do the decryption and say okay this one 29 to the power 3 mod 33 and that will give us should give us two if i want to use the calculator um, to make it easy i could say what i could say 29 to the power 3 that equal to this number mod 33 equal to 2 that should be 2 actually it should be equal to 2 we got the same message that we encrypted okay same message that we encrypted this is how we do the calculation and you need to make sure that things is okay now the security of RSA there's four possible approach for attack in RSA uh, either brute force which you can try all the possible private key and that's a very long long dictionary or you can try mathematical attack which may use some of the you know uh, known uh, mathematical things to break any equation but that's need a lot of efforts okay because factoring uh, two number is not easy uh, you have timing attack okay so it uh, depends on the running time of the decryption algorithm if it's uh, small and it takes small time if it's very long you take a long time or you can choose any cyber text attack that will exploit the property of the R assay so these are possible attack that could be happened to the RSA but uh, didn't mention that uh, RSA is um, a little bit you know strong algorithm it's easy okay the only defense that against the broad force approach is that same RSA for crypto system use large key space and that's you cannot try all these keys they will take time and then during that time it will be uh, changing the key and also if you want to do some more calculation to generate more keys okay it will be more complex for you to do that so uh, 